We did not stop pedaling during the break, no. I swear. <laughs> Although, this is, there's no like blaring music or light show going on, but I'm here uh, with the gals from Cycle Bar. We have Jody and Heidi, and we talked a little bit about the great workout that Cycle Bar is. The music, the light show, the fact that it's a fun workout. But one of the things I really love that I've learned from Cycle Bar is that you guys do charity runs. And I told you I was going to bring up, uh, we talk about Landon Solberg quite a bit, uh, the little boy who just stole my heart, your heart, so many people's hearts. And uh, a couple, you did at least two charity rides for Landon and his family. One ride, he was up there with yeah, you, yeah. pedaling away. Second one, he wasn't able to, but he still came to he say came. hi. So let's let's talk a little bit about charity rides at Cycle Bar. Okay, the, the thing that actually got Dave and I to open Cycle Bar that got us the, to solidify it was the charity rides. Once we found out that they did a lot of charity rides and giving back to the community, sold. Um, it's a big, important part of Dave and I, of who we are. So at Cycle Bar, we, anybody in need, it can be um, a charity, it can be a family in need, we will do a charity ride for them. People will come and they'll pay a certain dollar amount for that bike, and then um, all the money will go to that family. And of course, every time, I know I went after Landon passed, I went to Cycle Bar and I was like, Jody, don't make me cry. It wasn't even a charity ride. But when I was there for the Landon Solberg charity rides, not only were we raising money for the family, which is for all charities, not just the Landon Solberg rides, I feel like a lot of times everybody wants to do something and working out sometimes when you're feeling so sad and want to do something. Yes. Like, how do you describe how it feels for the whole group to be in there all riding for the same reason? Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a mix of feelings because you feel so good that you're able to help, but it's very emotional too, um, especially when that person that you're raising money for may be there. It, but overall, you leave their feeling so satisfied and just great, great feeling. Landon, an easy uh, reason to go ride. Uh, could you name some of the others? Because how many charity rides have you guys done? Oh my gosh. Uh, probably We've over done 50. over 50. Over 50 charity in the last rides. Three years. In three years. Yes. Okay, and how, I mean, and you've probably raised, do you have an estimate on? It's in between 100 and 150,000. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, Just here in Fargo. Just here. Fargo, West Fargo. Uh, location. So if people are thinking, I would like to have a charity ride, because there are a lot of different, you know, people in situations, whether it's cancer or health or other, you know, financial reasons as well. It could be fires. How do people, you know, organize their own charity ride? So they would get in touch with me and we would set up a date and time outside of our regular classes. And then I give them the information that they need or their, their group needs to sign up and they sign up for a bike just like you would normally, like you do for when you come ride. And they bring, they actually bring their money um, to ride to the organizer, and then they're actually paying them. Okay, so it doesn't, it's never going into your pocket, it's going right it to not. the person who the charity ride is for. And I, I asked Jody this, and I've experienced it. You've taught these classes yes. as well. Oh. How do you describe, you know, when you're, you're in a class just on a normal day, people are working hard, but there's a different feeling in the room when you're doing it for charity. There definitely is. Um, when it comes to creating the playlist uh, for all the music that's going to play throughout the 45 minutes, um, we put a lot of effort into that. We do a little research on that organization beforehand. It's great to you know meet the people that are involved. Uh, anyway, it is. It's very emotional, um, depending on the organization. Of course, not all of them are total heart, tug at your heartstrings, but a lot of them are. I feel like you get so much out of going to Cycle Bar as well. I, I love the fact that you guys do charity rides. Um, it's a great workout. You're getting sweaty. You're burning calories. But there's also something different that you guys do where you have one song that's kind of dedicated to a, a deeper meaning. What, what do right. you call it? What it's, is it? We call it the Connect song. Connect song. Right, and it's usually a little bit later in the workout where we will kind of get inside of our little meaningful spiritual, not spiritual side, but just get deep into a, into a thought process and think about things outside of just to really dig into what's important. Maybe it's a good way to say it. I've always said, and I think that I've even maybe got this from you. I mean, working out, I don't have to go to a shrink or a therapist. <laughs> right, Because exactly. going right. to the gym sometimes is that that's our you therapy. Know, yeah, therapy. Exactly. And we get to do it. We don't have to. We get to. 
Yeah. She says that all the time. Yeah. Words exactly. to live by. We get to we do get it. To. We don't have to do it. Yes. Thank you, ladies, for coming Thanks in for what you, you do. It's just super amazing with all the work that you guys do. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on North Dakota Today.